What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys this powerful AI tool that feels like cheating. I know I've been sharing a lot of AI tools recently on my channel and it all feels like game-changing app, but this one that I'm gonna show you today are completely, honestly, on another level. It creates realistic images like this and renders your sketches or 3D models in seconds. And I get it, okay? Like you might see AI like this and think that it's taking creative creativity from designers, but it's quite the opposite. The goal of using AI is not about replacing your creativity, but it's about moving faster and getting the ideas quicker. And because of that, I found Render extremely useful and helpful when I design and present my ideas. The quality and the accuracy of the materiality, the finishes and the details are just so much better than any AI tools that I've tried. I've already started using this into my day-to-day -day workflow at work and the client's feedback has been extremely positive and it has honestly like leveled up how I present my design ideas. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through some different ways you can get started on Render as well and to elevate and fasten your interior design process. I'm also going to share some discount codes that you guys can use and sign up to Render as well at the end of this video. So make sure to stick around and if you guys are ready, let's get started. So this is the home page of Render and as you can see you have this get started button but what you can do on Render is quite a lot of things and you can basically do like a text to render and this one kind of works like your mid journey so you type in your prompt and they will create like a visuals for you. They can also do elevation to render which is quite cool. You can also do 3D base to render which is the one I was like super obsessed about so you can like upload your SketchUp model for example and they will render like super super realistic. They also do sketch to render so anything that you have like hand sketch they can render it for you and they also do image to render and they also upscale your images so which means they refine and make your images super super more detailed and high quality and they also do like edit images where you can select certain parts of the image and kind of modify so like if you want to change like one bit of furniture you can do that here and a lot more you can create like AI videos as well. So let's get started by clicking here. So once you get into the platform, this is probably the first page that you will see. I'm just gonna walk you through what these different tabs means and what they can do with it first. So if you go up and click to the community, this is the page that you can get inspired from what other people have created on this platform. So you have all this inspiration and the prompts here that you can learn from and use it in your own like work. So you have so many images that you can get inspired from and this kind of works as your brainstorming probably page. And if you go up here in the video tutorial, this is also a very helpful page that you can get started at the beginning. They have all these different kind of tutorials that you can start watching on different um, editing tools, different like render from text tools and it's a great way to get started if you're completely new. Then we have a new chat feature which is like I'm completely obsessed with. I'm gonna get this into it a little bit later in more detail, but honestly, this is like kind of replacing what you can do on Creator, which is like kind of um, using like a parameters to render your images and you have a lot of setting, but in here, you can basically chat and ask everything like chat GPT basically, um, but it's a lot faster and you can ask anything here. It's crazy, I'll show you later. Then we have a create tab and this is where we start our work probably on render if I was using this for my interior design project. So you have a lot of tools here under create. So you have text to render, elevation to render, sketch to render, 3D base to render, image to render and render variation which creates a little bit more different scenery and like materials sometimes. But these are the tools that we will get started on creating some render images. Then basically once we have the image to work on, we can move on to edit tab. And when you upload some images, this is where you can start editing specific parts of the image. So for example, you want to change one part of the materials to something else, you highlight it and you can edit. You can change one type of furniture into something different or lighting even. So this is kind of like more detailed editing tool. 
Then after that, when you're happy with your images, you can bring to upscale tab, drop it in the image and we can like uplift and make the images high resolution. And then finally, when we have that image, we can go to the video tab and you can make that final images into video. So that's kind of how the workflow might move in this render app. So now I'm going to show you guys individual tabs and what each things can do. So I'm just going back to create and I'm going to start with text to render. So once you go into text to render, the first thing that you can do is to select your image style. So you just click in here and it gives you multiple options. So from like realistic to autistic sketch, architectural drawings and paintings and so on. And I'm going to choose the realistic because the realistic render is what I want. So I'm going to select that and click confirm. And in the next tab, this is where you're going to write your prompt and describe what kind of images that you want. And there is this like add keywords and you can basically like curate all this like keywords and build up your prompt from here. It has a lot of options and it basically has design style and like, you know, materials, weather lightings that you wouldn't even think about. So this is a great starting point as well. But I've tested this page and it kind of works if I have like a reference image. So I basically want to create this type of space uh maybe in a hotel i really like this like four season from rome i think but maybe convert this style into a hotel room so i'm basically going to use this image and bring into chat dpt and basically i'm going to ask to help me curate the prompt okay so what i'm going to do is i basically typed can you help me describe this interior design image with better so i can use it in the prompt for render and i also said that i want to use this style for a hotel room bed area and can you help me to prompt within 600 letters because that's the requirements on the chat box basically so i type that and i'm basically going to send it to chat and see what it comes out with perfect it instantly gave me the prompt so i'm just going to straight away copy and paste this into render so i'm going to paste it here and basically this creativity um bar basically means that the less you go it will stick to your prompt and the higher percentage you go it will basically um asking ai to be more creative and they will give their input into the image basically so you can kind of choose whether you want a little bit move away from your prompt and give a little bit more creative freedom to ai or you want to stick to your um, prompts. So I think I'm going to choose something in between and start from there. And then you can also choose the size of the image. So I'm going to select the horizontal and maybe stick with three to two. And the number of generation, again, you can also choose one or, you know, up to four. And if you want the same experience as like mid journey, you could like select four generations. Uh, but for now, I'm going to select with one and hit generate. Okay, so this is what render has created, which is not too bad. I feel like the color scheme and materiality really match with the original kind of style, which is quite Mediterranean and like light pink, nude pink with terracotta. So I think we're pretty happy with the first image generation. But let's say that we want to change some of the items from here and edit, let's say. Um, you can simply go to this edit um, render tool and it will take you to this select modify. If you click that one, it simply um, goes to this edit tab as well. It's the same thing. You can either go to this tab and import this image and start editing or you can do it straight from the image that you've created. So once we have this one, you go to this edit tool here and you can do like a select um, option from the magic wand, brush or like polyagonal lasso, um, same with the Photoshop. So let's say I want to change the back of the bed into something like, mm, like, a, like a rattan type of design maybe. I'm gonna select this area here it's always better to select more bigger area than just that area because AI wouldn't understand 
um, or simply understands it better. So I'm just gonna click done. And what you wanna do is that once it takes um, this mask into um, the layer, you go back to this description um, box and simply like just delete all this box and type in that change, um, let's say change back of the bed to rattan design. And I might not want a lot of creativity, so I'm just going to bring this down to like 32 and hit generate again and see what it comes out with. Okay, and although I didn't really describe this design well, it has changed to something that is see-through and like rattan material. So this is the way you can kind of experiment like how things could look from text to render tab basically and then moving on to elevation to render this is also a very similar thing so what you do here is basically you have to bring in your own elevation images you're gonna follow exactly the same step that we did for text to render so you're gonna upload your own image here the elevation and then you're gonna describe the materiality um you know the type of style that you want and then you can basically hit um, enter here as well. I'm not going to show you how to do that too, but you can kind of get from what I did um, on text to render. It's straightforward. So I'm going to let you try that one. And then sketch to render, again, the similar principle, as you can see on this little video, it kind of does um, from your hand sketch. So if you have a little sketch that you go to the side or you did like a quick sketch over existing photo, for example, this is a great tool to like start visualizing and making it realistic. So I would highly um, recommend playing with this tool as well, but it's the similar formula. And what you can do with this one, for example, that has like image strength bar um, on this tab. And what this means is that how much you want to keep your original um, image. So if you have like the line work of your image, how much do you want that to stand out? So if you put it higher, it's gonna show all this like, you know, the original lines more vividly and it maybe still makes it quite like sketchy. Whereas if you make the image strength a little bit lower, it creates a little bit more realistic um, render, for example. And the creativity tab is again, the similar thing. The more you go, the AI will create something a little bit more. And then if you go lower, it will try to stick to your image as much as possible. And then 3D base to render is what I actually want to show you. It's pretty similar to image to render. So it doesn't really matter maybe which one we go with. Um, but this both um, has a potential for you to upload your 3D models or like sketch up images and then fully render quite accurately. So let's try and bring in some of the image that I've done. So let's say I'm going to bring in this image here that I've modeled recently. It's supposedly to be um, designing for like a penthouse design. And basically you're going to upload this image. And I don't have a lot of details in this like SketchUp model. For example, I've left like the back wall quite flat and like no decoration at all. It's simply like a white wall. All I've added is like maybe the ground floor and some of the furniture. I've added like curtains, materiality to, you know, like the most simple areas that you can see. I've added like pendant lights. So I want them to jazz up a lot of things from this image. Um, but let's see how we can do that. Right, so once your image is uploaded, I'm going to bring up the color bar to about like 40%. Basically, I wouldn't go all the way up because when you go all the way to the top, the AI tries to understand to keep all this like SketchUp lines and like the SketchUp aesthetics, which we don't want. We want this to be like realistic, but we still want to have the color and like the tone and materiality like as accurate as possible. So I'm gonna set the bar about like 40%. And then with the shape strength as well, I'm going to bring like same size, maybe like 34, just because I don't want the sketchy look, but I do want the same furniture, same lighting, same window in the same position, for example. And on the describe the scene area, I basically wrote um, penthouse open living room with dining table in the back. And on the right hand side, there is a kitchen counter made out of marble countertop. 
daytime natural light coming through. So straightforward um, explanation of this image. And then with the creativity, I'm going to bring this up all the way to like 90, just because I want AI to like really, really maximize the, like the lighting effect and like the quality of the realistic um, quality. So I'm going to bring this up to like 90, maybe 91, something like that. Um, and you can basically add reference image as well with your maybe like something that you had in mind of realistic renders or style of the architect that you like. You could bring them in to make AI understand that's the type of image you want. But you can try that later. I'm not going to do on this one. Let's see how straightforward um, setting will turn into on this AI. All right, okay, so this is the outcome of what render has created. I can see that they've kept almost as accurate in the front part and like the quality is pretty good. I feel like like this marble effect and like the um, sofa, the lounge chair, the coffee table and stuff like that is quite accurate to my original image. I do think something in the background does tend to get a little bit like blurred. So I do recommend when you're like rendering, try and put like your background as close to the possible. I did feel like something that has a depth, AI doesn't really get it yet, but still the quality is like really, really great. And again, like you could like, for example, download this image and you could bring this into the video um, tab and let's say i choose this file again so let me just bring this up you can basically describe the scene just say maybe um walk the room moving forward let's see what it does actually um generate and let's see what it does okay here we go let's play this and see what it does oh my god wow i mean okay the further back it goes, the quality gets lower. So again, I would recommend putting an image and like try test your render as like close shot as possible so that there isn't like a big room, I think. But I'm sure this will get like improved in a second. But like, look how amazing like this first few seconds are. It's crazy. And now the last tab. So let's go to the chat box. Basically what we've just done on like all the create area, you can do that on simple chat box now. So I'm going to bring the same exact image that we used for render before. So let me just open this up. And once it's uploaded, you basically want to just tell the chat box to say that render this image as much, um, let's say as accurate as possible and um, create a view of nighttime shots with light turned on just so we can test it out different kind of like time of the day rather than what we did earlier in the daytime but as simple as this and i'm just going to hit enter and see what it creates it's going to reply and say okay we've understood and let me get worked on rendering this image with accurate details and nighttime scenes so they have understood my prompt so let's see what it comes out with and it's super super quick on this chat box like it's crazy right so i really really like this view it's still a little bit sketchy but i actually prefer this view than before because it's moodier and I think it has kept almost all the details in the back as I want it. So I prefer this image, like you didn't have to really set any parameters, like it's get really like complicated with that and you have to, with the other create tool, you kind of have to like play around and test it out multiple times to get the result that you want. But with this chat box, I found it easier to just put the image and ask them to render and it will create that for you. So it's super easy and I would recommend trying out this for yourself. This was all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. To try out Render yourself, use my code MIA10 to get 10% discounts when you sign up. I would honestly get started right away because it's gonna save so much of your time and it's time for us to work smarter not harder. If you've learned something new today, I would love for you to like this video and also join my channel by subscribing. That would mean a world to me. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!